Hi guys, in this video I will be doing a review on Ubuntu 11.10. Let's get started. Ubuntu's version of the taskbar start menu is quite cool. As you can... Um, this is a Facebook application that loads every time. It's like a little feed. I'll try and hide that. I don't want it. Yeah, so the taskbar is quite good. Um, you can load up anything, such as LibreOffice. You can put any application you want on the taskbar. It's, you've got a very long one, you can scroll up and down it like that. Um, here is a similar version of the start menu from Windows 8 if I wait for LibreOffice to load. So I'll make this bigger. I find that this like dash home they call it is similar to the Windows 8 one but not as blocky. Such so as it's like big icons around the screen, search bar. It's quite cool. Uh, Ubuntu have released their own software center, so you, they've people have put on apps that Ubuntu have signed, and Ubuntu apps that you can download from the software center. Find Ubuntu. The taskbar at the top is a. Uh, bit like the Apple Mac is it's all one thing the exit minimizer and maximizer all on the left and it's all on the top there yeah it's just taking a bit to load but there's a load of apps you can download for it so I'll exit that right, here we go you can get anything like developer tools, games like that exit this here you have your user accounts you can switch user your time your sound there's your internet there's your mail and here's your uh, shutdown log off tools I've done downloaded chromium web browser instead of Firefox for this because chromium web browser it's a Chrome version for Ubuntu and you can install apps on this browser so it's quite cool if I as you can see download apps you can download more apps from the web store you can download extensions that you can see I've got here I've got the Guardian there whatever Facebook whatever those two are I don't know uh, this is the app store for Google Chrome or the Chromium web browser for Ubuntu. You can get Sky Guide. See what's on popular. Gmail, YouTube, Angry Birds. Install anyone. I just add this one to Chrome. Install. And there you have it. Load it up. There you go. So that's quite cool. Um, I'll exit this. Yeah, so this is quite cool. The annoying thing about downloading programs outside of the software center for Ubuntu is you have to ins not that is you have to install them through the terminal. And if you don't know much Linux code like me then you're going to have a very hard time installing programs unless you know of another way. Another good thing that Ubuntu have kept in mind is the four desktops. So you can switch between desktops. Like that. So if I had loads of, loads of windows open on that page, didn't want to clog it open up anymore, just switch to another desktop. Um this is your home folder so it's a bit like windows the 
the navigation. Ubuntu one is the um, cloud, so cloud file sharing. With Ubuntu, you get a free five gigs worth of um, internet storage. Um, let's see what other apps we've got. You get music. Don't have any files. Yes, here, here uh, I've downloaded a uTorrent program, but I didn't install it because I couldn't find out how to. Uh, there's like zip files. Um, if we go to the settings menu, system settings. And the system settings is just like control panel for Windows XP. As you can see, I've got some updates, but I'll leave until later. So if you go to the appearance, change your wallpaper, the pictures and folder, color and gradients. It's not many for the appearance, but there are other ones. So you can change the theme and the shell extensions. I've forgotten where that's come from there. Yeah, here we go, theme. So you can change the theme <coughs> to anything you want. Um, Linux is a lot more um, open than Windows and Mac, so you can change a lot of the things yourself. You can code it all yourself. You can change anything you want. You can redesign the whole operating system if you wished. I'll show you what the log on screen is like. I'll just uh, log out. If it's going to let me without hassling me. Here's the log on screen. I'm in a virtual machine and so it's not gonna be full screen. Um you can see the time there. Shut down and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut this virtual machine down and that's the review done. Thank you very much, Desktop Tech Pros.